As I'm sure you guys are well aware, the holidays are quickly approaching, so I thought it would be fun today to share five tool-related presents you can get for your Tacoma for less than a hundred bucks. And just in case you're wondering, yes, I am infected by the holiday spirit. Beware, for it is contagious. And if this is your first time swinging by the Tacoma Holic channel and you love everything related to Tacomas from mods to off-roading, do-it-yourself maintenance tutorials, go ahead and subscribe now. And of course, if you are interested in picking up any of the five tools I'm talking about today, links for everything in the video description below. And we are getting started with another flashlight. Who doesn't need another flashlight? I want some more. This one is from Mossy Oak. It is 500 lumens on the max setting. There are three modes, visible up to 320 meters and up to 11 hours of continuous runtime. Does come with the batteries. You just unscrew that, pop right in to change the modes. Just switch between the power button. This thing not only puts out a lot of light, which I will of course show you with some night shots in just a second, it is super beefy. I swear you could also use it as like a billy club. Coming in at just under two pounds, you can practically use this thing as a dumbbell. I actually just think I pulled a muscle. It is IP67 waterproof and you can drop it without destroying it, they say, from up to 27 feet tall. And they even have a picture of a truck running over it with the tire and it still works. So this thing is supposed to be nearly indestructible, fantastic output could not recommend it more. Now the next item on this list, not specifically for the Tacoma, but for those of you who are lucky enough to have a garage, and by the way, if you do have a garage, then I envy you. That envy is my son. Oh, what's in the box? Relax, it's just a box. So what I've got for you guys today is a lighting mod. You can see it right up here. Mind the pink little tassel, that's just so I wouldn't hit my face on the chain right here. This is a three-pronged LED. It screws into a standard base. It's 60 watt, and I'll show you a quick comparison, but I got this specifically because I had an outlet up there on a pull string ready to use because I have these old school, like, I guess the fluorescent lighting. This one's still working, but these bulbs, they never last long. They're expensive to replace, and they're a pain to replace to get them sort of situated on either side. So I got this to replace that, and I'll show you a quick light comparison, but I love this thing. It puts out a ton of light for, I think it was just over 25 bucks. This room is roughly 20 by 30, and here's a quick shot of the light output from the old fluorescent style bulb, and compared to the new LED bulb. And just getting a little closer, you can see all three of these panels are movable, so you can bend them all the way up to 90 degrees or all the way flat to 180. Like in this case, I've got this side bent up just because if that light over there is not on, it throws more light out that way. Otherwise, of course, if you have them all flat at 180, it just sort of puts the light downward. But trust me when I say that this puts out a ton of light. I'm not really sure if it's going to come up on camera, but if you have a garage and you're looking for a nice lighting, affordable lighting alternative, this one's simple to use, could not recommend it more. Again, it just screws into one of those standard bases and you are good to go. Next on the list is an automatic slippery center punch. This is certainly useful if you need to drill holes in anything, specifically metal where the drill bit is more likely to slip off your mark. You can adjust the tension just by twisting the end if you're working with softer or harder metals. I think this is like six or seven bucks. So you guys definitely should pick one of these up. Keep it in your tool bag. All you need to do to activate it is just push it down on the surface until it pops and if that's going to show up on camera right here at my thumbnail. Nice mark to start your hole. <laughs> I 
Next item is the ball joint separator. I literally just bought this one like a week ago, so it's still in the package. That's exactly how you get it. I wanna say this one was about 10 bucks. Certainly useful if you need to work on your ball joints because they can be certainly stubborn to pop free. Not really sure what to say about this one other than I've seen it called a pickle fork, which is certainly a cute name. So another great tool to keep in your tool bag if you're working on your Tacoma. And the final item is a mini grease gun kit. You can see I don't even have big hands and that's how small it is. So if you have Zerk fittings on your truck, obviously you all have them on your drive shaft, but if you also need them like to grease your UCAs for the regular scheduled maintenance for those, keep them running as long as possible. You might not necessarily need one of the huge regular size grease guns, which is I wanna say is about like this. You could probably get away with one of these mini grease guns, obviously a little more cost affordable. This is a specific one I have. It does come with one cartridge of grease. This is the NLG-1, and it comes with a few of these solid attachments. Obviously the adapter that goes over the Zerk fitting and a flexible hose. And if you're going to get the mini grease gun, I also found these nice mini grease cartridges. I think everything here was about 25 bucks, so very affordable. This NLGI number two is a specific one I use on my drive shaft. And these are also NLGI number two, uh, but extra heavy duty grease. Uh, specifically, it says like heavy truck, farm equipment, construction equipment. They came with it. I'll probably just buy this one in the future. But like I said, if you're not greasing stuff all the time, save yourself a little money, grab yourself a mini grease gun. And that will wrap up this video, everyone. I do plan on doing a similar style video for inexpensive, fun mod things you can get for your Tacoma for the holidays. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.